Hello friends, I am Shirit Soni and I am here with a new video. So in the previous video, we learned how to set up the Laravel, what is the TDD approach and how to write the test case in the Laravel. Now in this video, we will learn how to set up the PHP unit and we will write our first test case in the Laravel. So first of all, set up the PHP unit. In the test environment, instead of instead of use the real record of database, we will we will keep it in the memory. Then, if you want to change this, open the phpunit.xml and you have to set the db underscore connection variable in the bottom of the page. Here, you can see the database connection. If you are using the SQLite, you have to set SQLite here. If you are using the MySQL, then MySQL. If you want to use another database, then the you have to pass the value to this variable with the database name. Now, we don't have any view file so that we use the built-in authentication for the quick scaffold view. So try to run PHP addition makeout this will create the authentication scaffold view okay after this we will create the first test in the laravel the first test is a guest can view all the threads for that we are using the addition and we are creating the new test using the following command php addition make test with the test name after that go to the post.php in this file you can see the namespace of the class here they are using the fresh database because when this test is called the database will refresh on each test so all condition are flushed and again run the test for the first function we see the test example and that is a true when the true now change the function name to a guest can access blog index now let's copy this put into post.php here we made a function with the a guest can access blog index we are trying to get the blog route and asset HTTP status return is 200. Okay, run the PHP unit. In the Ubuntu, you can use PHP unit via command line. I am using this command because I am using Windows. This test is OK. If you are getting any error, then you should rename the function name of the test with the with append test in the uh, with the append the test to the function name or you can use at the rate test annotation annotation to any method but i am choose to prefix its quick way so function test a guest can access blog index Now try again. Expected status code 200 but received 400. Failed asserting that false is true. So the again the test is failed. The cause of test fail is the route for the block doesn't exist 
controller doesn't exist and method doesn't exist so solve this step by step first we will create the route for this so go to the routes dot routes and web dot php okay add route for the block now create the post controller we will use the artisan for that php artisan make controller and the controller name okay the controller su created successfully now go to the post controller okay after that add the following code use app post here and then add the function index here now create a folder and create view file index.blade.php so go to the resource views new folder post create new file and paste following code save it give the name index dot blade dot php so what we do is we get the latest post and pass it to the post dot index view in the index file in this index dot blade file we start to get the data using the for each loop here we get the title and as well as body now run the test again you can see the four tests and four assertions are successfully checked so there is no error now go to the block url and check into the browser also so let's solve the system php partition so go to the yes go to the block you can see there are multiple post and with the post body now let's um, let's do some modification to the test test i want to make a test like laravel create a post and go to the block url and can see the title of post which is i created so in the function test a guest can access the block index we will make some changes so let's do that change go to the post.txt php comment out here we are using the factory model and create the post then 
we are try to access blog url and we expect to see the post so run the test so that's working fine now we want to display single post so for that we create a new test function name a guest can see the single post because we are displaying all the post on the single page but user clicks on this link it will redirect to particular single post page so let's make the test for that so go to the pay post.php and another function a test for a guest can see the single post we set the story point for this giving the post data when user access the blog slash id of the post and what we expect that what user will expect that he will or she will see the post title so for that let's do some changes to this and add some logic to the test so let's and here again we create the post with the factory then user or guest access the blog slash id which is the post id what he expect is see the post title so let's run this test you can see the failures because we don't have created the view file for the particular single post we don't set any routes for this and we don't have any method in the controller so let's solve this error go to the web dot php and end route for this here we are passing the blog with the post id and we have to now we have now create the show function in the post controller so go to the post controller public function show okay so this will return the view to the post dot show dot blade with the post object now we have to create another file the show dot blade dot php into the post folder so let's create new file copy this code name it to be show dot blade dot php now again run the test again we will find the error let's check what is the error in the browser also php partition serve Twenty 
trying to get the property of non object in the show dot blade dot php okay we will remove this we will use this in the further videos in the future videos now run the test okay the test is working fine you also check in the browser also php partition so okay so you can check if you clear click on this piece of work man the particular post page is here now so in this video we have created the post dot test two test cases one the user can see all the post and user can see also the single post we also implemented in the browser okay so in the next video we will check how can user can add the comment and how user access the comment for the following post okay so if you like this video then share and subscribe to my channel and encourage me to more move forward thank you guys